Right, so today I'm going to do a quick compression test on this uh, 01 Bonneville. Uh, I haven't done one in quite a while. Uh, I've got the manual, and the manual's wrong. It says it's 12.5 compression. Later documents, I think, say it's about 9.2. Um, so a compression test will kind of tell me that as well. I'm just going to whip the plugs out. Got an 18 millimeter deep well socket that I can actually get in here, so I don't even have to take the tank off. Yeah, just pop off the old plug cap. Try not to hit the tank. Smart, eh? Come on. Let's go to this one. Spin it out because I grease the threads. Put chain spray on the threads. That's how I can get it out. After a few turns. Get it out. These are pretty old plugs. That one looks a little richer than the other one, which has got a whiter. Uh, yeah, it's got a whiter center. Plugs themselves look pretty good. It's all sharp cornered edges on, on the electrodes, both sides. Even though it's rusty here, don't care. No sign of leakage around here. So it looks like that seal is still, still working. All right. So I've got two types of compression tester. There's this one, which has a little valve in the end. And if you can get access directly to the plug, it will fit straight into the plug hole. And then I've got this one, which I use on the cars, because uh, today's cars are so deep. I mean, you've got to use this hose, various adapters to get down the bottom end. They're in giant deep tunnels. So I've got that one for doing that. I think this one actually fits the Bonneville. Let's see. Yes, it does. So I should be able to hold it in and crank it. Let's have a go at that. All right, well, it should be quite noisy when I crank it. So ignition on. You've got to have it in the run position, otherwise the start is just not going to crank. Let's see if I can hold it down. forgot to hold the throttle open so it's only showing 100 psi so this time I'll try and remember to hold the throttle open zero it out and I'm doing this on a cold engine because I hate working on hot engines okay so this time open the throttle didn't seal it. So I was trying to do it a lazy way without taking the tank off and as you can see I took the tank off. Yeah I couldn't hold it in. There wasn't enough room under the tank and the meter to hold it in. So now there is. Let's give it a little shot. Hopefully it doesn't pop out. Ignition on. Throttle open. Start. And what we got? Oh, 185 psi. Not bad for a 38,000 mile bike. Let's try the other side. Okay, so this is the left side. If I remember right, this was the side that had the issue all those years ago. Okay, so throttle open. What did it get up to? Oh, same again. 185. Not bad for an old fart. Uh, just for giggles, I'm screwing in the the long extension one. So I'm just using the hose to turn it in. That's as much as it needs. Oh, on. Throttle open. Let's see what this one gets up to. Is that 180? The other one said 185. Not bad, that's pretty close for uh, gauge, commercial gauges. All right, so we're back onto the right hand side. Mission on, throttle open, and. Run 80, not bad. I think that the gauges may even be reading the same 
So the other one has a much shorter path. I don't have to fill this with 180 psi gas to this valve. So this one's always going to read a bit less. That's how you release it. So this bit, you've got to pressurize it before it opens the valve in here and pressurizes that. But the other gauge, it was immediate. It just read it. So it's probably a bit more accurate reading than the other one. Still, pretty good.